entire <laughs> I had to get it out. My bad. <clears throat> Hi y'all, I am V. No. And you are now tuned into Two Words Tea. So we do the unthinkable. The hottest podcast in the world. Why'd you change it up? Because it was the hottest it's podcast okay. in the South. Now I never said the South. I said the South? You said the South. Big podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Big cast. Biz risk. Biz risk. Can't even do it. Sorry. No. My bad. Okay, y'all. I know y'all see what's new. I'm not going to tell you. Just, you know, you see what's new. Hey, somebody. Okay, let's take. What was the head tilt? I just felt like it was necessary. <clears throat> Mr. Beaver. Okay, so let's catch up. How you been? What's been going on with Sister Gwen? I went first last time. So how you been? What's up, Sister Gwen? I can't see which way. Okay. <laughs> um, I've been. I'm not doing a single mother vibe for you, sister. I've been good. Been like a little bit in my feelings. I had to block my favorite nigga. I can't breathe, y'all. Send me ass and phone. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, in and out. In- okay, but yeah. Besides that, I've been good. Just working really. I took a little mini vacay to Savannah, saw the beach or whatnot. Had fun. I could have swore your vacation was in Atlanta. I told you I went to Savannah. Was it? Wow, you went. We talked about this, and you said nothing when we. When I, I first wasn't told you. paying enough attention, apparently. And that's whose problem? Yours, because you just said I'm going to Savannah. It was just for the more moment trip. We like we just said we all was like drunk that night. It was like let's go to Savannah, let's get the beach. And then the next morning, we woke up at the beach. The next morning. So you wanted to call you? Be like, we're going to Savannah. Wanna go? Yes. Hold on, let me grab my purse. That would have backtracked. Backtrack who? To you, like, it was in Atlanta. You wanted to come to Lawrenceville? Where was you at? I was in, like, Cobb County. That don't mean nothing to me. You would have drove? Yes. Left like, my car. First of all, let's get back to the catch up. No, because <laughs> this is why we're catching up. Because I did not know this. And we just talked. It was on. We had our own little catch up today. We no talked mostly. about, if, yeah, you're going, if you're going not. Bitch. How she took my line. Big man. Big bitch. Big attitude. <laughs> but, um, um. I'm still, I'm still on my journey and discovering myself. Like, I talk to my therapist, and it's like it's a lot of stuff that I've been realizing. I talk to that lady. It's a lot of stuff that I've been realizing. What lady? That lady. Remember, I talked to that lady, bro. The, the memes. When the, I'm not following. When the niggas be cheating and be in the memes, like, bro, talk to that lady. Come back, thanks. Uncultured. Okay, so it was complimenting. Sorry. When you get it, let me know. Okay, so, yeah, I talked to that lady, and, like, I just been realizing a lot about myself and just growing, and self-discovery is very important at our age, and I feel like I'm getting to a good point, because, like, I, like, it's been, it was a big step for me to block my favorite nigga, too. Yeah. It's the fact that you keep saying favorite, and then, what if so-and-so reached this podcast and realize, I'm not editing this either, <laughs> and realize that you're not talking about him? All hell's on a rape loose. He could be Look, honey. Bunches of oats. Stuff happens. I have a life outside of other people. Let's not talk about this anymore. I'm just digging my Yeah, dirt. she does. Because you know why? Because she went to Savannah without me knowing. I couldn't check her location, but I'm already thinking she in Atlanta. She within arm's reach. No. But yeah. Or. I've just been, I've been growing. And like... I don't really, we're not going to talk about me no more because I feel like the more I talk, the more I'm like locked up, can't get out my jail. So what's been going on with you, Shadi? Don't ever call me that in your life. Um, I just been doing my own thing. That's it. Nothing new. You never say nothing to the Because people. nothing is new. Nothing I'm is new. Like I'm sorry, I'm not trying to put my business out there. But if you know, you know. At this point, we're not going to catch up no more. Why? It's up in my seat. It's taped in your seat. Why is it taped in my seat? I told Booty so flat you can feel it. 
Okay, so we're going to get into this topic. I don't like you, bitch. <laughs> we're going to get into this topic. And the very first topic is, you're going to be my baby mama. You gonna have we my had kids. this conversation earlier, and yeah, I can't remember and I, what it was I about. I cut it, because I didn't want you to continue. Basically, it's about how niggas be like trying to stop females into having their kids. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. The American family. Okay. <laughs> 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 I gotta go. To heaven, I wanna go. To heaven, do you wanna go? Oh, there's a place for that. There's a place for that. So I'm just living my life, so I can't live again. We're gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> uh-uh, we ain't got no beat. Every day I'm living my wait, cause I wanna make it. I wanna make it better. I wanna go. But yeah, if y'all get the joke, y'all get the joke. Y'all gotta stop that. But basically, bitch, you got me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so inconsiderate. I'm gonna cut my hair because get out my way. Okay, but yeah, um, I've never had a situation happen where a nigga was like, you gonna have my baby, because if I did, I'll call the police. Because that's real scary. Because, like, you giving me trap me vibes, and it's giving me, I don't even mess with you. <laughs> Are you trying to, do you have something you want to say? Do you have something to add? You look like you have, <laughs> it's on your mind, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mental health. <laughs> My Lord. I feel like I'm having a choker. You should have on a joker. I don't have any. The one with the little, little rhinestones. The I'm, gonna little a, I'm gonna get me a dog collar. Hey, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Not the arthritis. Arthritis. Okay, bro, stop. We stopped it last time. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> sit here and say you're gonna have my child and we're not having like a serious conversation that's kind of uh creepy weird um because there's something called control alt delete on the keyboard and there's also something like um what is it avast the protection warranty and the virus uh protection thing on the computer that's what we use Okay. Who is we? Um, everybody. We definitely use virus protection <laughs> on our laptops. Yeah, condoms, bro. <laughs> I was talking about Adobe or whatever you <laughs> out there. <laughs> this bitch talking about snakes. I'm talking about actual computer viruses here. <laughs> Okay, so... Why would... That <laughs> looks so wrong. Did you check out the Skittles in your hand? Did you... She just said nice, so... Sorry. I'm picky with my women. Wait, I'm, I'm picky with my women. women. I'm, I'm deciding. deciding. I'm Wait, call me to me your crib now. No, 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 it's... Call me... <laughs> <laughs> call, call me to, to your, your crib. I'm a... Sl- Forget it. We're off topic. <laughs> We're off topic. <laughs> um, but yeah, don't ever tell. <laughs> don't ever tell me that unless like we have been whoop de whoop in for years. And whoop de whoop. Got together. Contest clues. Um, we we um we bada boo bing for years and we bee bee bobby boo and we had that money and we're prepared and you're gonna actually take care of it not right now. Other than that. Mm. I feel like we're gonna have to put some subtitles. <laughs> okay, Siri. <laughs> Ciao. But nah, for real, like, it's not cute. Like, I'm just, like, I don't know. Because I know sometimes she'll be like, oh, I want to have a baby. <laughs> Ruin it. Okay, so I know females be like, I just want to be the I've gotten my first baby to have baby. Okay. But I feel like some females they'll joke about wanting to have babies. We really gonna need subtitles, bro. Cause the, I heard what you said, understood it, but 
Think Let I, somebody else do it. It's ooh, not gonna work. Yeah, cause I can. Okay, but I know females joke about like wanting to have babies and stuff, but it be dudes out here really like, oh, I'm trappy. Then they get you pregnant. Then they leave you. Look, if you're one of those guys, do us a favor. Chop it. Please. Please. Because it's not cute. Like, you trapping somebody with a baby that you're not married to, you probably don't plan on really being with anyway. So what is your purpose in trapping me, sir? I mean, I can understand, like, we at the mall, we see some baby clothes, and like, oh, what would you want your baby to wear? But we know, that's, that's cool, that's but cool. it's not no, like, oh, I'm going to get you pregnant, and then I'm fearing for my life, like, I'm going to have to leave you, and I feel like if you're in a situation where you know the nigga is controlling, am I talking too fast? No. Okay, cool. I mean, I can understand, bitch. <laughs> I mean, but we both Y'all turn the CC on, the, the, whatever that means. Closed caption. Yeah, call that on. Oh, damn. Oh, I saw it. But, <laughs> I'm still cute. Okay, so, like. Oh, it's this. I'll stop it. Never mind. Okay, so. <laughs> so, like, if you're with somebody that knows controlling, know that they're probably verbally or physically abusive and are hitting you with the, oh, I'm going to get you pregnant. That's not flabbering. What? That's not flattering. So, it's like. But say flabbergasted? Yeah, I was yeah. Say flabbergasted. That's been on my mind a lot. I've been very flabbergasted the past few days. <laughs> but that's just not, that's not where it's at. Hey, Bobby. But that's not where it's at. <laughs> But that's not where it's at. <laughs> Let's just go to the next topic, babe. Let's just go to the next topic. But not for real. It's not cute. Please don't trap nobody without that being a casual, consenting conversation that y'all ready to have kids. Because a lot of kids are having kids. Like, there was a um, statistic that half the people that were pregnant last year were kids, teenagers, basically. During COVID? Yeah. They, what, what, how? They brothers? With their brothers and sisters? Next topic. With their next neighbors? Cause they didn't. They wasn't in school. I mean, kids go out still. Like, and every, not everybody go out over. where the park. Y- y'all was doing it in the swings on the uh, roundabout I'm not saying slide. Kid, kids, but like high schoolers. The <laughs> way you say the words today, <laughs> high, high schoolers, high schoolers. Okay. Uh, oh, well then that makes sense. <laughs> the next topic is college dropout. No, I'm not talking about Kanye West album. I chose this topic because I've been banging. Like, I'm not thinking about dropping out of college. I am. I'm not thinking about dropping out of college or anything because I still want to just finish my degree, get my license or whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say, whatever. But just get my degree. But I feel like college isn't really for anybody. I feel like if I, I wish I didn't start college. I wish I didn't start because then I wouldn't feel so obligated to finish. But because it's like you go through life and you see all these TV shows where they go from high school to college and it's just the life. It's not. And they make it where, oh, you gotta get out of college within four years. Half the people that graduated college did not graduate within four years. The people that do, they didn't take no breaks. I'm talking about springs. All the semesters, all three semesters. Or like they, they had a very it. simple um, degree. degree. Not saying it's impossible, but for the most part, it's like it's about fourth year, fifth year. First of all, I am I'm definitely gonna take a break. I I can't. I my mind is not where it needs to be in order to complete college. I don't wanna go. I don't like school. It's mm mm. I'd rather do something else. Honestly, I agree. And there's I plenty like of ways to make money. It's been so non stop. Like I just graduated from being homeschooled. Being homeschooled, I had like eight classes. Homeschool, straight into college, back to it's just so much school and I am tired. Because once I get my bachelor's, I gotta go get my doctor so I can practice. So it's just like bruh. Where does action come from? You went from like Britain, uh, <laughs> over there <laughs> in the UK. <laughs> in it. Um and then you went to in New York, the little Dominican accent in New Yorkers, and then you went to Country Southern. Where am I now? Real, real Atlanta wannabe bougie. Let's see where. <laughs> I know y'all heard it. I, Cause I was listening, I'm like, did she just? Now that I have this personality. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kenya. This triggered. <clears throat> I mean, no offense to like people with no, disorders. No, 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 no. Yeah, uh-huh. Don't cancel it. Don't cancel it. <clears throat> okay, but um, subscribe. Don't cancel. Um, yeah. How do you feel? How do you feel? I don't want to be I'm in school. I'm gonna put it on the mic, guys. <laughs> what? 
What the fuck are you talking about? Tune it up, baby. <laughs> Did you do drugs today? I don't do drugs no more. Y'all, what the fuck is up with her? She's about to piss me off. Um. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, explain yourself. Are you done? <clears throat> Run in your tire! <laughs> Hold on, crack. Um, <laughs> I don't... You, I'm not interested in school. I mean, I will go to school for something else, but having to do homework... I'd rather go for a trade. Honestly. And just get that job, work on a job for a little bit, and then when I'm actually mentally mature enough to sit mature. here and concentrate... On oh, school and actually want to graduate? My pops took me. I'll probably do it when I'm 25. I got three years to get it back. Get it up. Get it right. Get it together. Like, it's just, it's, I don't know why I said I was going to be married by 25, graduate by 25, have my life together by 25. Girl. It's 22 and I'm just starting to have to be in a relationship for real. I'm just discovering myself for real. Honestly. And I feel like it's a great journey. I'm just so mad that I just had this expectation set for myself. Like, that was not realistic. Not realistic. I'm 22 and just going on road dates. 22, just learning how to, like, pay bills on time and oh, not procrastinate. <laughs> or, um, payment plans. I skipped them. But... Girl, same. Like, I just paid, like, a bill, and it was, like, a hefty bill. And I was, like, I was going to put it off, put it off. I was, like, nah, let me pay this bill. Had to buy a part for my car. It's just, like, money drop. <laughs> I'm so, to, to y'all kids, that's, like, oh, I want to be grown. No, you don't. I don't want to grow up. I want to be a Toys R Us kid. And, and Toys R Us is opening up, and there's people going to be the first one. Wait, they are? Yeah, they're under new management. So, what was the point of closing down? Why can't you just take a break? I mean, that somebody bought them, so they probably couldn't. I don't know, cause Toys R Us. I don't feel like they were like. Is that why that Toys R Us building is still open, or no, like it's still there with the Toys R Us sign? Literally, there's one like that in Athens too. So I feel like they was planning it. They had to break our hearts and. And they gonna come back, but what kids want toys now? They all want iPads. Electronics. Well, except for that one, he wants a drone. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, but yeah, he can go true. outside. It's not. The phone that just keep them out. I want a drone so I can. Never mind. Are you done with this topic, bitch? Because I'm about done with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope gonna say something. But I was like, they might put me on a list, and I'm probably already on a list. I need to be on that list. So it's your topic. <laughs> what was my topic? God damn it. Um, how long are you going to wait on a person of interest to make it official? This was a recent situation that I've experienced. And I was like, how long am I going to wait? Do I, am I really waiting on something? Hey, risk takers, hold on. Let me ask y'all something. Do you need some spiritual guidance? Are you into astrology and zodiac signs? Or do you want to gain knowledge on your past, present, and future? Well, try Nova's Readings, okay? Nova's Readings provides affordable tarot readings, crystals, and more. I went to Nova to see if my man was really cheating on me, and she said there was no future with him. And girl, she was right because he's blocked on everything now, so. Hmm. Go book you a reading with my good sis Nova at novasreadings.com and use the code Too Risky. that's T-W-O-R-I-S-Q-U-E, for money off your first reading. And be so long. Shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> okay, where are we at? My topic. Okay, my topic is: How long are you gonna wait on a person of interest to make it official? I don't feel like going first no more. First of all, I went first on my topic, so you have to go first. So I don't know. Um, I'm gonna give you like a little Netflix trial. You know, a little. After I, after we established that we like each other and we want to get to know each other, a little Netflix trial. How long? Isn't that like 31 days? I think so. So what's the trial that's 90 days? Amazon Prime? Oh, so you'll give it three months. Give or take. Because then again, I'm kind of wasting my time if it don't work out. 
I feel like with that, that's kind of because you gotta get really give your time to really know this person and understand. But once y'all have that under, let's say, okay, we've been talking for like three months. After that three months, and we establish that hey, we like each other, we kind of want to take it, you know, to the next level. I expect within like either the next one or the second month to for us to like make it official or something. But don't just stick to the time I'm like giving because every time I'm is different for everybody. Cause you would have, but. If we're in a good place and we already established, okay, this is how we feel. We really know each other. Let's say we've been talking for a year, even that. And we're now we're talking heavy, heavy. Like, we are going on dates. We're being around each other 24-7. Because I would say a year because I really feel like it takes a minute to really get to know somebody for real, for real. Mm -hmm. So, three months, I wouldn't really make that realistic. Maybe dating in three months. And then when you make it official, official, I guess, after a year or something. I don't know. Like I said. I don't know a timeline. It just happens when it happens. But at a certain point, you know when you want to be serious with somebody. You know when you feel like, okay, when that thought crosses your mind, like, hmm, we've been talking for this long. We're at the point of where we kind of say we love each other. We at this point of where we're doing all this. Are we get are we together? Like, what are we doing? I feel like once you start having those type of thoughts, is when you should, when it's like, okay. Hey, bud. <laughs> Pal, buckaroo. If you don't make your move soon, I'm gonna move on. Cause after a while, it is wasting your time. But sometimes things take more time. But if you feel like okay, it all depends on how you feel, really. Cause I felt for a moment like okay, I want to be in a relationship now. Then I was like, no, I just thought about that in the moment. I'm not ready. It just depends on how you feel and just process. Okay, make sure you're being reasonable. See how you feel about this person if you really want to be with them for real, because that's a commitment that I hope you are being serious about, not just dating to date. So, which a lot of people are doing. I've been in a relationship where they were just dating to date. I've seen this post that somebody posted saying they're dating just to have raw sex. You're dating to go to the doctor? To doctor? That's not what you. That's disgusting. That's really kind of low but it's just like what you were saying people do be out here dating just to date and that's that just made me time. like that's disgusting that's really that was a post for real it was a post did you ever send in the group chat i'm mm -hmm. so glad you didn't i saw that and i was just like you're dating to have raw sex are you getting tested between these people? Probably. If it's a man, probably not. You know how they are. Men, why don't men care about their health, bro? Especially Atlanta men. I don't. That, like. I thought I can go to any nigga and be like, when the last time you got tested? And then, like. Back in college, men's giving out free food. They give out free t shirts and the food and the test right there. I win. Bro, niggas, like. Things are nasty. It's not like, do y'all not care? Do y'all not know like females, like males, even y'all carry diseases that like that can go undetected for years? Like, I know it's a whole scary process of getting tested, but it's you, really not. All you're doing is peeing in blood. Literally, and like, if you know you're being safe, let's say you have a slip up, you go get tested, so you don't have to live with that. Like, oh, what is this? Because you can probably, hopefully, it's something that can be handled, nothing too serious. But like, y'all have to be more like vocal about y'all partners more vocal about your history i need to ask about people's sexual histories because a lot of people don't do that y'all feel like we live in a scary as hell land where okay i sleep this person that person and not get caught up with something it's so easy just one moment one person not we in school not it's a sex ed <laughs> just in a split second that can change your life pregnancy disease Does you the flashbacks to the video i thought you're having right now the movie that you're hearing me do watch. Boyfriend, girlfriend thing. Oh. Don't recommend that shit. But yeah, that girl caught. Now, nah, what's that movie, the Tyler Perry movie with the girl? She got HIV. She had a good man, a good man that slept with her boss and he gave her disease and she was just off of drugs and tried to come back to her boyfriend. I forgot. <clears throat> I don't got a name. Tem temptation, 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 temptation. That was Tyler Perry. That was Tyler Perry. That was a good movie. I was thinking about a fall from grace, but that was not Tyler Perry. That was Tyler Perry. No, 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 no. A girl like Grace. Oh, I never saw that. It was actually a good movie. It was with um Ryan Destiny. Oh. Yeah, it was Ryan Destiny. I was into it. I have subscribed to all black, the um streaming really? platform. Yeah. What's the email and the password? It's on Apple TV. I have, TV? A, I have yeah, I'm subscribed to it on Apple TV. 
The, the Don't you have Apple TV with your Apple Music? Mm-hmm. But you have to pay for certain things. I pay for that. I like I like the show Man- Manilliums. Manil- Millennials. Millennials. Yes. Sweetheart. Millennials. <laughs> I love the foil. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, so I'm trying to support because the show is really good. And they have all those movies on there, too. And them show. Ooh, we got to watch that Wait, what show. what about that show that we was looking at? Yeah, it's on there, too. We got to watch that. I'm going to wait for you, but I'm going to finish my other shows. <laughs> Last time I waited for you for a show or a movie, it ended up being weeks. We don't have to wait like that no more, though. Why? Let's go Because we can watch whenever you're ready. Okay. All right. So when I call you tonight at what? 1 a.m. Okay. But you know what? Okay, I'll stay up. We can watch one episode. We can watch one episode, okay? I'll stay up. But back on the topic, please get tested. And also your topic was how long should <laughs> I'm like, when did that become my topic? How long should it be before I but I just feel like there's no timeline, but once you know at you know at a certain point when it's like, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, know. you should be in tune with your body enough to know what's wrong. Like if uh, wait, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the uh, STDs and HIVs and whatnot. I'm again. talking about the relationship. Well, you just said <laughs> you just said back on topic. Get tested, so I'm on that topic. But yeah, you should know your body enough to to realize there's something wrong. You should know every your body female, enough. not every female. Most people know if it, if it don't smell right, something knocked it off. It could have been what you ate. It could have been what were you wearing. It could have been maybe after you just had. And I know this is scary because I have to go get my, my, you know, your woman's check when they check everything and all that. You weren't supposed to get it at a certain age and I have to go get mine. And I'm like, I'm kind of scared because I'm like, I don't think nothing's wrong with me, but it's just a scary thing because, you know, you feel a little lungs and stuff. Sometimes it's nothing serious, but I feel like we scare ourselves too much. And I feel like also society doesn't beat health into our minds. We just beat BBLs bad, not this and BBLs because I kind of want one. But they be <laughs> they be pushing BBLs and um everything else but health. Like, everything. Well, first of all, healthcare in America isn't free. Unlike other countries where you can go get in the okay. ambulance and a what? <laughs> <laughs> ambulance. I said ambulance. ambulance. <laughs> and the ambulance. And it costs like $1,000 to go one mile here. And what country was that? I saw it on TikTok. It was like seven something. It was seven just, US dollars. Because it's just so much money in the health industry. That's why I'm pretty sure there's a cure for cancer, HIV, AIDS. I, there you can't tell me. Because I, mean, I feel like century. it was all man made. Because literally. What the hell was them 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 cavemen doing? I know they was only doing it with one person in that cave because I mean the cave was like only but so. And they wasn't like I don't know if I want to know when the first like cancer like who when is the date back? How far back does it date? Because like HIV the 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 non pigmented the non melanated was doing stuff with animals. That aren't in our species. But this is my thing. If y'all can sit in a lab and like whatever they said, however they said HIV AIDS was made, there's a cure. You can't sit here and tell me there's no cure. If you can make coronavirus and make a little vaccine. That fast. I feel like they put that virus out. But no, that vaccine was being made for years. COVID? Mm Mm-hmm. Because I mean, the the virus. I mean, it was out in different levels. I feel like that. I really feel like that's a whole like. What's that thing called? Population control. Let's not get yeah. into conspiracies. Because not the government going to shut our podcast down. <laughs> no, we're talking too much. But I really believe a lot of a lot of conspiracy shit. Because... For real. Did you used to watch the show Conspiracy Theories? I think I did. Wait, I think was it John Chavolta? I really feel like I didn't watch it. What, what was his name? Because I used to watch it all the time. Do you like this around? Do I feel like there is that around? I think it's flat. It's how is it around? The but then, round but the, the, moon. the moon is round. Every other planet is round. That's what they say. But you know how they, you know how they did the moon landing? That doesn't make sense to me. Why it's is a different why atmosphere and different gravity and different air levels and, and shit? I just don't feel like the Earth is round. My, how they get cell servers out in NASA? I mean, <laughs> out in space because the NASA people was on TikTok. And I know they ain't wait years to come back to Earth to suppose that because TikTok hasn't been out that long. I feel like it's a lot of stuff that they don't tell us that 
is I guess classified or whatever. But it's just it cannot be John Travolta. I feel like John Travolta not is too not really the looking it up. I really forgot his name, but I used to watch it all the time. I just feel like, but it's gone. It's not on YouTube. It's not on the the the. Why did that? Like, I, feel, I didn't even know about that. Like, I feel like that was something that was erased from my brain. Because until you said it, I've never thought about that. It's what they put. But I the remember. I remember seeing it on the TV guide. Bro, what 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 is the name with uh? Uh, ma. What's the show? Conspiracy theories with who? Conspiracy theories with who? Jesse Ventura. Jess, I said John Travolta. <laughs> Jesse Ventura. If you ever see this, can you please give me an email? Who's Jesse Ventura? The-